In this topic, we're going to talk about the PBID files or Power BI data source files. These files are extremely convenient because they streamline the get data process for future report developers. For example, we've already connected to our three tables for SQL server data source. If we create a Power BI data source file from our Power BI desktop file that we are working on, we can send that to other users and it's going to allow them to skip the get data process and typing in all the server credentials and all the server information and instead it's going to allow them to just select which tables they want from our data source. Let's go ahead and get started with an example on how to create one of these files and then talk through what the end user sees when they open up that file. So it's basically extremely easy to do. All we have to do is to click on this transform data drop down and go to data source settings. We'll see all the data sources within our current Power BI. We see it's only a single connection to a single server database. All we have to do is to click on this export PBITS button and that's going to open up this dialog asking us where we want to save this file with a PBITS extension. Let's go ahead and click save. And now I'm going to close out of this Power BI file and I'm going to open my PBIDS file. So let's double click that and give it a second to open up. And we'll see that as I open up report, it's making that connection to the data source and it's going to prompt us which tables we want to load in. So I can select whichever tables I want. For example, let's bring in some random tables such as warehouse colors, warehouse stock items. To go ahead and load that in, click OK. There we will see that in our field pane on the right after this data has been loaded in, we just have our two selected tables. We don't have the three that we originally have within our Power BI desktop file, just the new tables that I've selected. One thing to keep in mind is since I've already authenticated to my SQL server within my instance of Power BI desktop, we didn't have to return any credentials. But if the users have never authenticated to our SQL server database, they would have to type in those credentials as this file was loading up. So this is secure and that is not sending any credentials along with PBDIS file. It's just streaming the get data process so that they didn't have to go to get data SQL server and type in all the server database information and everything like that. It's just streamlined to where they could just select those tables.